50 protesters walking the picket line right now. And this means thousands of people in Bakersfield. They'll be without transportation. Joining me now is Gary Jenkins. He's with Teamsters Local 517. And Gary, how long do you foresee this strike lasting for? Well, I don't know how long it will last, but we're committed to being out here as long as uh, need be to get the company back to the table and give us some reasonable increases. And then also one of the important things that I truly believe is to increase a number of full-time positions. Okay. And for those that are unfamiliar with the situation, what made you guys decide to strike in the first place? Well, what happened was uh, when we were at the negotiating table, uh, we could just not come to an agreement on what would be a reasonable increase or a reasonable increases to positions. So uh, that's what pushed us out here to, uh, to strike. That makes sense. And um, the, the paycheck situation, will the people on strike still be getting paid? Uh, no, they will not receive anything from GET, uh, but Teamsters do have a strike benefit, uh, which is a modest benefit, but it will be something that will help. All right. Thank you so much for that, Gary. And um, that's the latest from here. Check out our website at turn23.com for more on the strike situation. We'll be back here in about 20 minutes as well. Back to you guys. Lindsay. Good morning, Mike and Aaron. That's right. There's about 50 GET employees walking the picket line right now. They've been out here since 12.01 a.m. this morning. And just to clarify something that we were talking about earlier, before the strike, the hourly pay rate for a full-time driver was 22.23, and for a part-time driver, it was 14.81. And union officials were asking for a 4%.